You're listening to The Grind with Chromatics playing the best in TNT music. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. the long awaited, long awaited Mr. Marla and Asha on the grind. Get him now, farmer. Na na na. Huh. Na. Uh. I'm seeking first the kingdom of God. Man, I'm trying short concert today. Short yeah. concert. Short daily. You see how the time rages on. <laughs> the battle becomes obvious to man. Rastafari. Hey. Ah. Strong, strong, strong Man, you have to fit down in any summer giddy And you got to fit, fit, fit Strong, strong, strong Yeah, yeah, this tune, yeah A big tune in a chili dad Fit, fit On the mic and stand Always give praises to the almighty Want you have some fun Dep on the land It's too much a battle a region A champion star War on this nation Oh, we see man Killing man But too much a tribulation it you're listening to the grind. Get on the next one. The original farmer here. One of the biggest reggae tunes in the world ever, ever in life. Listen, the man, William. No, no, no. I'm a ganja planter Call me the ganja farmer Be down in the air to me put the ganja Papillon come light it at a fire me a charm Yes I'm a ganja planter Call me the ganja farmer Be down in the air to me put the ganja Papillon come Big stinking helicopter flow through the yacht uh, With them call it, them call it weed eater Them never did it when we were tote in water And when we did them ply a fertilizer But yet, out of the sky, them spitting fire And I'm a little youth man with a hot temper Me dig up me stinking rocket launcher You know the, know the, the air, the baby land the away Yes, I'm a ganja planter All oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> You're listening to the grind. DJ Trap, just bubble it easy. Easy in the background. <laughs> easy, easy, easy in the background. Bless up, bless up, Matrix. Bless up. Bridging. <laughs> it's a Be, pleasure, It's been man. a minute. It's been a yeah, minute. It's been a while. The, the last time I see you was in Atlanta. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. 2016. Yeah, that was a wild boy. Yeah, 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 boy. Farmer. Yo. We here. Back in Trinidad. Yeah. Um, I know you just touched down every now and then. Yeah, definitely. Um, but this time seems to be different. Yeah. Because um, not every time you would come and really hit the ground, be doing press and events and whatnot and whatnot, like you are this time around. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I believe we're preparing for a new album. Yeah, definitely. You know, within the next couple of weeks, my new album will be out for you know pre-orders. Mm-hmm. You know, the name of the album is called Safe. Mm-hmm. It, it's a 13-track album. It's my fourth studio recorded album. Fourth album. Yes. I was wondering because I know we had Reboot. That was the last one. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and before that yeah. was Illusion, and then before that was uh, what was that? Unconditional Love. Right. Good. Yeah. I, just, I didn't know some people to go and run up the numbers on the streaming platforms <laughs> yeah, to yeah. go back and listen to some album before they get ready for the new one. You know. Yeah, man. A blessing that you know. And this one kind of special, you know, because this is the first time I have so much of a extensive production work you know done to you know the album and the mm. music and the lyrics and you know everything it was you know a blessing in disguise and i must you know thank everyone that was involved and 
to make this album possible, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Don Corleone, Vast Production, you don't mm-hmm. know. You know Easy I mean? Cardo. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Kili Keys, you know, uh, it's Luciano, Sizzla, Taurus mm-hmm. Riley, Massacre, mm-hmm. Slightly Stupid, J Boog, you know. Mm-hmm. Bless up all the artists that came together to, you know, collab with me for this. And, you know, because of the direction we're trying to push this album, you know, it was, you know, kind of a hefty budget, but mm-hmm. it was necessary to kind of refine the music and, you know, to get it out there so the people can really appreciate, you know. So mm-hmm. this is a, a blessed venture, I must say that. Yeah, and safe, I mean, why, why the title safe? Well, you know, the Lord promised us, you know, 100 years of safety, you know, and without acknowledging God, people would not be aware that that safety had passed and gone, you know, so mm-hmm. I'm just trying to bring the awareness that, yeah, we safe. safe, safety pass and gone, you know, mm-hmm. but in God, you know, you're still safe, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because, you know, the things we do on the earth will, you know, come back to one day, we'll be judged for our doings, you know, so Doing the right thing in God's name, you know. He will always be safe in his eyes. So that's what the title is about, you know. All right, no doubt, no doubt. So before we go, um, we will get back into the album. Um, big up to everybody in the chat. Is he real? Yeah, young veteran. Well, Big G would rough day. <laughs> Easy Big G, you know what I mean? Alison Richards, their keys music. Travis Artist, Oram Gold, If I Wume. I believe that's how you pronounce your name. Big up you, because I know you're listed for Saturday, June 17, too. Right? But I want to get into, you know, this 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 song, yeah. Gan- 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 Farmer, Farmer. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? It has done so much for you and, and propelled you to essentially a global reggae icon. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna use the word icon. It's a it's a pleasure, you know, to be, you know, the singer writer of this song because mm-hmm. this song, you know, touched the four corners of the earth, if mm-hmm. I might say that. And traveling, it has took taken me as far as I think I can, you know, fly on a plane to get. <laughs> right. so, but at the same time, this song, even though people you know like it it's always been a favorite song of mine mm, mm-hmm. so you know i i can't explain it but the feel of the song it really resonates with the heartbeat you know so mm-hmm. i think that is why it's being played so much mm-hmm. because the music you know really you know people really can relate to what's going on in the music mm-hmm. well we're speaking of which i mean i mean now the lyrics might be a little bit different because you know, you're back in Trinidad now and you think they criminalize. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. You know what I mean? And But you've been out there also. Um, am I correct to say you have a, your own strain? Yeah, whatnot? yeah, yeah. I've, I've uh, partnered with uh, James Loud from Loud Seed Genetics and we have a company called Ganja Farmer Seeds and mm-hmm. we do sell seeds out of Amsterdam, you know. Uh, the seed bank is in Amsterdam. Right. And uh, you can get it online uh, dagger dot love or you know anywhere seeds are being sold you can get ganja farmer seeds mm-hmm. and like so what what are some of the sort of having travel you will offer this song what are some of the i would say advances um um that you've seen in in the marijuana industry globally you know not just in Trinidad. i mean we really we get a little lot Pass where I'm only gonna get locked up for yeah, a, a, a couple of splits, but I, I'm glad you see you've that. seen the industry, yeah, 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 in full <laughs> flight, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I've been to countries where it's just being legalized, countries where okay. it's criminal, mm-hmm. you know, it's criminal to have it. I've been to countries where it's free and legal to just have it anywhere. Mm-hmm. So I've seen the growth of marijuana over the years. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I've seen it's it's been something that has been has been discriminated against mm-hmm. that has grown into something that is sought after mm-hmm. for medical purpose. Mm-hmm. So yeah, marijuana has come a long way, and here in Trinidad, I know. We playing catch up, but still, you know, I can't wait till people start, you know, really getting the benefit of cannabis and mm-hmm. what it could really in do for industrialization the industrialization of it. Yeah, 
and because a lot of people can you know ha- find income mm-hmm. on the legal standpoint of it and a lot of people can benefit from the medical aspect of it mm-hmm. and most of the products that they make for medical purpose you could outline the ailments right here in Trinidad you know the diabetes all these things mm. the cancer the mm. you know the high blood pressure we could we could outline it and these are some of the products that are most effective in some of the bigger countries that mm. already established in the marijuana industry and it's, mm-hmm. it is a a very lucrative industry and there is a lot of different parts to it mm-hmm because you know people can grow people can distribute people can dispense people can it's a lot of different thing you know mm-hmm. so i can't wait for you know it to really come to trinidad seeing how we get so much of sunlight you know and really and rain uh, and the right yeah. weather and the soil you see what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. i can't wait for it to for the trinidadians to really benefit mm-hmm. from the marijuana industry not just pushing our head but yeah but you know, you know mm-hmm. as a as a country though mm-hmm. you know because it's a big industry and we yeah. kind of late in the you know <laughs> the venture of you know establishing ourselves as mm-hmm. cannabis you know entrepreneurs and it, it's it's a lot of work in cannabis but the benefits for the people is is great you know no doubt ladies and gentlemen mr marlon asher um i recently seen you um i would say was it on tour with sizzler in, yeah, in yeah, japan we japan yeah yeah and what was that experience was it first time in japan that's what that was my first time in japan and mm. i must say it was a, a a most wonderful experience you know because uh japan is the on the forefront of technology so it was nice mm. to actually see some other things that they are into you know right for instance their their billboards they don't just show a, like a tv screen you know the it, it, it's in 3d mm-hmm. so jumping yeah, ju- ac- it's actually coming out of the screen and okay. you know so it, it's it's a wonder to see mm-hmm. But of course, it's technology man-made. But mm-hmm. still, it's a wonder to see mm-hmm. I'm you know, a, how I'm far inspiring. Yeah, yeah definitely mm-hmm. so. And they they even have some strange materials over there that I was like, "What is going on here?" Yeah. You know what I'm saying, yeah, because we there was this material that they would squeeze through a, a wire meshing, but it would form back on the other side. But I don't know what it was. So. <laughs> Liquid too many times. It, no, it's like, like <laughs> no, no. I don't want to toot no horn or anything but mm-hmm. seeing terminator that's that's the only thought that could have come to my mind but i don't think it's actually that mm-hmm. but you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. we can have an idea of what i'm talking about yeah. by just thinking about that terminator mm-hmm. c- scenario you mm-hmm. know and, and what was it like i mean how did that come about i mean i know you've um worked with sizzler in different capacities before yeah yeah uh, or, or closely around but how did it come about to i Marlon and Sizzler going on tour in Japan. Well, I'm a good virgin with Sizzler Kalonji, good virgin with Kid mm-hmm. from Ireland, you know. Right. So it's only a few weeks before they leave for the tour that I heard that you know that I wanted me to accompany him there. Okay. You know, I heard it through Vast Production because they went down to Jamaica and met with ja- with mm-hmm. Dada and. And then they call me and say, yo, that I want you to come on the tour, you know. And then Kid called me and say, yo, you would love to have me. And then I, mm-hmm. you know, I had to get a last minute visa to go over there. But you got a visa to go to Japan? Yeah, like in four Seriously? days. It's, it's not really. Okay. It's just a formality. Right. They just want to see your passport, know that you're coming. Mm-hmm. If you're American, it's okay, but mm-hmm. I'm coming from Trinidad and leaving from America, so mm-hmm. I had to get a visa right. to show that I have a visa in America. Right. You know? But that, but that's interesting, and you bring me back to this question I wanted to ask you. So you have you 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 basically based in the U.S. now? Yeah, well, for the uh, most part, you know, part. I got married in America. You know, I got a wife and daughter. Right, right. Yeah, so I blessings on that. Yeah, but I have my kids here, so I. I always try to come home in mm-hmm. not too much of a long time because between tour and 
a family and my kids you know it's tough to juggle but you know god when god ordain you to do something you can't really complain about the hiccups mm-hmm. because the reward of being on a stage and singing and it's tremendous you know so i'm i must thank god for the opportunity to represent my country to mm-hmm. mm-hmm. out there you know I mean, there's a question i want to ask you i mean because um in my opinion and my observation you could tell me if i were wrong that the start of what was the quote unquote reggae revolution in china let me say 05 yeah, yeah. and as a man has pay attention to things essentially started with jam melody and yourself yeah yeah you all kind of kick open the doors yeah. you know what i mean yeah. um do do you do you would you attribute trinidad and tobago and and the build of that music your song melody all of the other artists who came after to your international success as well do you believe that 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 they helped in you get into a wider audience of course because you know when people heard about Marlon Asher mm-hmm. they looked to Trinidad to see what next and I'm happy that they you know the other guys was quick to answer mm-hmm. you see what I'm saying cause that made a a movement instead of a move cause mm-hmm. it could have been Marlon Asher going but then instead it was a uh, you know a whole grab so a, a contention of yes. artists just getting that opportunity to travel and mm-hmm. so Yes, I would say that they did indeed help my, you know. No, because the reason why I ask is this platform that you're on right now is our radio.fm and we push and promote strictly local. I mean, yeah. our mandate is no less than 75% TNT music. Yeah. And I yeah. always kind of uh, want to push the mindset of we can lift up our artists, our creatives to a point where they can go and touch the world and represent like you represent in that. Definitely. But it does start here. Well, yeah, I mean, a lot of people think all right you have to fly out first now that happens kind of sometimes maybe not yeah, really yeah but the homegrown excuse the term homegrown artists and that movement does essentially help propel you to, to a wider audience well you know? i i must say it's a effort of the country to get the artists them out there mm-hmm. you see i'm saying for instance pressure bus pipe if pressure have to go anywhere mm-hmm. his government you know funds his plane ticket and stuff the okay. hotel stay right because he is the first artist from VI to really be on that national. reggae stage yeah. 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 yeah yeah so what i'm saying is that i think that was the downfall of the trinidad artists you know they didn't really get a backing or a support that they could actually make music and mm-hmm. put it out and then travel to go and promote it mm-hmm. so this is for people who trying to do it in the future yeah it's best to really find support and promote the artists in the right way because these artists you know due to covid too they had a, a little drought and you know people still want these artists but we have to make music and constantly put music out mm-hmm. you know to keep people relevant to us yeah you know so in jamaica a lot of the artists that we see big artists you know they have backings from a lot of good organization that will help them in any aspect of mm-hmm. their travels mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or music making so because they recognize in Jamaica they recognize reggae music as theirs so they trying to put their artists that would represent them well mm-hmm. out there you know and this is why you know I've always come back to Trinidad and try to keep my music playing here mm-hmm. because so some people as if if I were in Trinidad no, you know, no, no, you, no, you no. yeah that's the reason because a lot I of us better to say yeah. anytime I buzz by far away with them, you know. I can't do that because you know why I always have to have a foundation where I can stand on. Mm. I wasn't born in America, I wasn't mm-hmm. born in Jamaica, I wasn't born in Grenada, I was born in Trinidad and Tobago. So I want to make sure that the Trinidadians and the Tobagoans, you know, appreciate my music and mm-hmm. I, I I always try to make music that Trinidadian and Tobagoans will appreciate. Yeah. And once they appreciate it the world will hold on to it. You see what I'm saying? So for sure. I would not if any up and down that i had in trinidad was for a good reason you know to 
if it's a, whether it's a critic or someone who you know didn't like a song and and say something ill about it it only made me stronger and try to made me you know realize that yo improve your music improve your music so mm, you know mm. so it would be appreciated in a household kind of fashion and and that was important too you know so yeah man no doubt ladies and gentlemen is a big one here today no <laughs> it's a big one here boy g boy mr marlon and mr you know? hey, marlon hey, Ash- mr chromatic <laughs> respect on man as man <laughs> you don't know each other from long time yeah man, yeah, man. Yeah. Are, we, are we chopping it up today g when you have your time you can just do so and let me know eh? we go in we go in same place after too. yeah yeah <laughs> it's true it's true it's true yeah man so um <clears throat> so let's let's get back into the album now so yeah, man. And well, I mean, as I, as I say, you just came off a tour with Sister in Japan, but I saw some things before before it even started to really hit the ground. On a, I want to say hit the ground, but the words that I get around, I heard, you know, there's a combination with Capleton, there's a combination with Luciano, etc. And yeah. oddly yeah. enough, when we were we just covered Redemption, the concert, yeah. Yeah. and we were asking uh, Luciano about you know certain uh, artists we like, and he was you know shout out to Black Loyalty, and then he bring up. Marlon, yeah. the Ganja Farmer. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. yes. You know yeah, what I mean? So what is, what is it, two things. One, what does it feel like to sort of have, have that respect from your peers and maybe, say, people that you looked up to in the reggae industry and, and how did some of these collaborations come about for this album? Well, you know, I've always grown with respect in my mouth and my actions, you know, so... Mm-hmm. When I'm, whenever I meet somebody, you know, immediately they can tell, you know, this is a humble person and he, you know. So, meeting Luciano, meeting Sizzler, meeting Caperton, these are humble men mm-hmm. who don't even put themselves above anyone or anything. These are men that take care of their whole community, you know. So, me as a they they call me the youth, <laughs> you know, because you know me coming in as a artist from Trinidad and you know being able to sit down and listen to some of the reasoning that they, you know, cause they go deep mm. when they reasoning. So it was a always a learning process whenever you sit down with Lucci or Caperton or Sizzler. Mm-hmm. It's always educating. So. I must say this union between me and these brothers that you know came to be my good brothers over the year it was really you know something that was meant to be for my sake mm. for me to grow in reggae music and for me to understand why reggae music is and why it's being sung you know the redemption song in the in the music I, I had to understand that from listening to these mm-hmm. elders you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i must thank god you know for the opportunity to really rub shoulders with some of these i call them legend too you know mm-hmm. because i think what they have to offer you know is what community leaders are lacking mm. you see what i'm saying mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that determination to see a youth go to school or to see him not walk without a shoes or a bag and or, the, or not go to school without food and mm. I think this is what some of our community leaders are lacking and I think they are a good example for me to kind of you know follow after and because you know everyone could be an artist and be famous and popular but I want to be a child of God so mm. I want to do things that you know really make sense to you know uplift the people and even to for my freedom you know a spirited so yeah meeting these brothers was only i could only call it an uplifting experience that will always be with me Mm -hmm. and it's only obvious that you know listen as soon as i say oh man we gotta do a song yeah send it over Mm. you know because it's that kind of love that you know exists between the I don't know if it exists between the young artists mm-hmm. but these 
Elders. Well, I mean, you say you say you have a song with Massacre on the album too. No, well, Massacre is a kind of spirit that I think is an older spirit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. He's, okay. I think he been here already. That man is yeah. just too talented, bro. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, he mm-hmm. is just uh, he blows me away, bro. Yeah. Real talk, cause he, yeah, Massacre is really a phenomenal artist. Right. And he's and on he's on the album. Oh yeah, he's on the album. A track. Uh, See you know? Yeah, the album is called Safe. Let me just remind them. Safe, 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 safe. But as you was talking that, um, you know that community leader talk. Yeah, you, you, you remind me of something. I don't know if you know how big Unity was in yeah, Trinidad. Yeah. You and Orlando and Isaac King. Shout out to Isaac King. Send me more music now. Dad, please <laughs> send <laughs> more to your bad to us. I go send. I go send a message. To you, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just rent. You see that Nefertiti joint? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, when you all wrote that song, and I think Orlando gave us this sort of um, how it came about and whatnot. Did yeah, you, yeah. You, I mean, having you know being in and out of Trinidad, you you understood what was going on and and and. Uh, on on the ground level, and did you have any idea how huge our uh, song was at the time and the impact that it had in Trin- in the midst of the rise of the Trini Bad, which you know me and you as artists could respect it and understand yeah, it, yeah. but how important that song was? Well, like Orlando say, you know, the only thing we could do is try to sound a voice. Mm. You know what I mean? And if it if it's heard, it's heard. If not, well, at least we have sung the voice. Because too much people not go about without song in a voice and not please, mm-hmm. and that brings stress and you know how that goes. So you know, at the time, the intention was to you know sing a song that would help the youth understand that we are just one people, and you know what I mean. And I had no idea that this song would have such an impact. Mm-hmm. But I think Orlando knew. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. he was adamant about it. Right. And Isaac King, likewise, he was like, Dan, we have to do this song and we have to, you know? Mm-hmm. So I think they, as me, Lyman, they're fairly younger than me. So they had a, a, a different view of what was really going on on the ground. Mm-hmm. For me, I was just looking at it as, you know, it will blow away. Mm. But they were thinking it's gonna turn into something that the country might can't be able to deal with after a while, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know. So they wanted to try and unite all the fractions, you know. So we say, well, let's represent the fractions and just put out a song where, you know, and most of the ideas came from kid too you know because kid, yeah. kid was the producer at the time that right. we were you know we were all staying together and making music mm-hmm, mm-hmm. every day we'd cut, get up and make music till the day done you know so it was a blessing you know and this all was being recorded for vast production of course but mm-hmm. you know this song i did i had no idea that this song was gonna make mm-hmm. an impact mm-hmm. on the country and I am sure glad it did, because things could have been much more worse than it is. Yeah, you know? yeah. It had a, it had the, the impact of quelling the yeah the vibes for a while. For a while, yeah. For a while, yeah. for a while. and it still resonates and, and, and as it bringing back up. But now things have sort of changed and splintered and names changed and <laughs> man, the thing you know where go, you know where go. But hopefully it has some other some other positive. I mean, it does have other positive youths out there making really great music. But I think it was the the impact of um, you know. Two huge yeah, entities. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Isaac King as well. Yeah. In his own right, talent abundant for days. Yeah, Isaac um, is, is very talented. Isaac is one of those artists that, you know, I I always see him as a crossover artist. You mm-hmm. know? Yeah. Yeah, 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 that potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that potential. And you all have collaborations too. Yeah, but let me get back to the album because today, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, the album is called Safe. Mr. Marlon Asher is here today on the grind. And he come with treats. Yeah, yeah I mean, <laughs> we come yeah, wearing well, treats. Yeah, <laughs> we come, we come with gifts. He come with gifts. So we have two songs here. We're gonna get. All right, hold on. Which one is which one? Which one? All is right. Which one? That. All right. We have the one with Mr. Luciano, which will be on the album, the upcoming album called Safe. Yeah. Um, so just get into a little bit about how 
the the creative process in this song and you know the usual who produced behind mix master and well, just the vibe of the song yeah but the whole album was done by don corleone you know mm-hmm. and big 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 producer and you know don has his writer kelly keys mm. always in studio so mm. most of the lyrics was done by kelly keys you know okay he had to listen my songs for like a uh, two weeks be- and then get into the vibes of you know writing for me mm-hmm. and then i came down from cali to miami and they would send me the songs i would review them and they would ask me what i want to change and then we would just go into the studio three songs a day mm-hmm. and just burn it off you know and you know after all, I, I did all my vocals. I went to Jamaica to meet with Caperton and Lucy, and I went into studio with them. And, you know, that was a blessing too, you know. So all of, this, all of the collabs were a blessing in disguise because it was just so easy to get it done, you know. Mm-hmm. And then some people would hear it and say, oh, my God, I have a recording with uh, this one and that one, and it's been like four months and it's not done yet, and how you get that, but... You know, again, it's the relationship and, you know, a Mustang, the, the whole team, you know, Luchi, Capiton, Taurus, Riley, everyone, mm-hmm. you know, for the speedy returns. Yeah, I tune with Taurus and yeah, one too. Taurus and Capiton, one tune, you Bumble know. Tea, tea. <laughs> I didn't send that one to you because... No, I no, 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 I, I, all right, I good, I, I good, I good, I good. I, I don't good. sneak peek that one already for the week, you know. So oh, yeah, so, so, so you went by few. somebody else and I, give them the thing, I, man. I, I give you thing different. <laughs> nice, I nice. For I like that. I like that, I like that. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. Marlon Asher, we have a sneak peek of... What's the name of the joint? It's called... Oh, it's called... The one, one Luciano. The Luciano? Yeah. Just now, I got to remember the name. Then you, I, I, I know, already, this is how we go when you name and tune. Right? Sometimes yeah. you create a I song got, and you get the name later. Well, it's 13 tracks, but I will remember the name while it's playing. <laughs> 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 all, right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, world premiere right here on The Grind. Hi, thanks for watching OUR Radio on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and tap the bell icon to get notified anytime we go live or post new content. OURradio.fm your urban alternative. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Marlon Asher, Luciano. The track is called Lion Order. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Lion <laughs> Order. Premiered right here on the grind. Um, it's not a single yet, but it's going to be on the album Safe. Mr. Marlon Asher's fifth. Fifth? Fourth. Fourth. Fourth studio fourth recorded. studio album. Man. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's an accomplishment in itself. Eh? Four, four albums, four full-length albums. Yeah, and of man. course, you know, tons of singles and collaborations. Yeah. In the mix in between. You know, we always have to be putting out music, but it's very important to put albums together or even, mix, or even a mixtape, you know? Mm-hmm. It shows, you know, your diversity. It shows, you know, your growth as an artist. So even though you're putting out singles... It's necessary to, you know... Get him a body of work. Yeah, man, combine a body of work. So I'm, like, gl- I'm glad you bring that up because a lot of artists lean out of different ways, you know what I mean? And especially in this time where, you know, the listener so hungry and, and music has become dis- so disposable and you have to be sort of this constant beating them with, over the head with tune yeah, to yeah, stay yeah. relevant, you yeah. know what I mean? But I'm glad that you you know you think that way. So, so why does a, why do you think a, a body of work is important as opposed not a, as opposed to but while giving them singles to give them an album? Well, when when while you're putting out your singles, you know, you probably be doing different genres, mm. different you know mood of music, right? But in your album, you have a direction and a a, a set message that you. Mm. So it's always important to put out that that firm message that people can resonate and keep with them. Mm-hmm. You know, the singles most of the time it's probably a love song or a dance song. You know, or, but in the album you will have a vibes where your album has one direction and it can put someone in a mood. Mm-hmm. It can it can bring them out of a mood. You know, so a lot of people actually listen to album and or even one rhythm with a lot of songs on it for one purpose it it carries the same feeling and mood Mood, that they want to be in you know right 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 yeah so that's why it's important as an artist to get yourself as a household 
artist. Mm-hmm. So making these albums is what's gonna mm. propel you to that next, mm-hmm. you know, level of being an artist who wants to be a household name. Right. Yeah. So singles is like commercial. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> album is personal. Mm. You, they, you're, you're dealing directly with the fans and the one who is feeling down and it's a pacific you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so this is why it's important to yeah, you think it could be more personal on an album and, and delve, delve a little deeper into topics and d- dive things. into some deeper topics mm-hmm. exactly mm-hmm. that you know sometimes people wouldn't have time to listen that in a party but mm-hmm. if they're at home listening an album they can really get that message mm-hmm. so it's important yeah. no doubt no doubt so um <laughs> it's half past seven so mm. we're gonna run into the next tune one time could we get them we get them the treats you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah yeah the treats, yeah, the yeah, treats. yeah this year one now <clears throat> this year one what, what, it, this what is the only love track on the album only love track on the album yeah so that song like the rest of the album is fire fiery fire fire <laughs> <laughs> all right okay okay so what's the name of this joint now this joint is called stay stay yeah all right cool we get into it mr malanasha Premiering have some songs from the up. When is the album coming out? Within two weeks. Within two weeks. It's pre-order. Pre-orders. Up coming. for pre-orders in two weeks, you know. And the following week after that, the following two weeks after that, mm-hmm. the album is out. Because, you know, pre-order for two weeks and then yeah. the album releases. No doubt. Ladies and gentlemen, premiering right here. This one is called Stay from Mr. Marlon Asher right here on the grind. Ladies You're listening to the grind. We're going to get him in live, Marlon. <laughs> Hey. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh oh. I got a message on my phone saying you're going away, telling me you're gone to stay. How could this be? I play you, I play. Hey girl, don't you play with me. Lies them I tell you girl just to make you frown And I can never do you wrong Oh never What I has made and done They can undo You stand by me and I I stand by you Stormy seas we sail, we ride the wave And I don't wanna see you go, so please just stay and Tell you flip them, I flip them, I flop, flop, flop me Love them, love me, chat, 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 chat Me say room at them, I carry them, I yap, yap, yap Tell them circle and cool, loud at that, ha, <laughs> ha you're listening to the grind. Bobby the TZ in the background <laughs> here, DJ Trav. Yeah, man. Mr. Yes, Malanasha. Sir. That one is called Stay right here on the grind. Yeah, Hold man. on, let me yeah, pull man. up my double, my double camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, Marlon, like, from the time I, I, I heard your music and, and, and I, you always sort of reminded me of, you had a, a different feel in your delivery and your style. It yes, always man. reminded me of like a burning spare culture kind of vibes now. Yeah. Where you think that come from and, and uh, your you know, your specific delivery? Well, you know, I think it came from, you know, my obsession with Dennis Brown and mm. you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. From a young age I kinda the mood that Dennis Brown put in was my thing. Mm. You see what I'm saying? His voice was commanding but yet soothing mm. you know what i'm saying so i've always from a young age i always try to capture that mm-hmm. you know it, it took a lot of work to actually get the the raspy and the smoothness in there so you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. to blend as one but over the years you know it's a blessing that you could you know sing in your own voice and you know Refine it to uh, uh, mm-hmm. a point where even when you hear yourself, you 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 know, it, it, it raises your pause. And, and, and <laughs> saying that, I mean, for somebody who's been in the industry so long and had success for so long, are you still? Uh, do you find that to be a constant journey, or are you still improving, still 
you know yeah i i i always try to improve my life uh like a year ago with before the covid mm-hmm. while everyone was busy making music i was doing vocal training okay. you know to try and you know refine me and strengthen my vocals mm-hmm. so you know it's a lot of things as an artist that you may not get the opportunity to do that you know is necessary mm-hmm. for act- for instance the vocal training that was very necessary mm-hmm because as a a raw talented artist that had no vocal training that is singing to the top of their lungs always it's going to be less work for them you know because within the first two or three songs singing will take away the voice so i had to learn that the hard way because mm-hmm. i was never want to go to vocal training and mm-hmm. stuff growing up i was just singing because i could sing you know what i'm saying yeah but that almost damaged my vocal mm. to a point where i couldn't sing you know what i'm saying so then i had to learn to sing with my breath and not with my you know what i mean throat yeah yeah so it's a lot of little things but refining the vocal is very important as an artist because when you find yourself on tour five shows and you can't make the six, mm. seven, eight, nine, and 10 and mm-hmm. then you know it's all problems so yeah you have to learn to sing in your voice no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. so um you mentioned something earlier that you're going to jamaica to really pr- push this album oh yeah well, or promotion or release or yeah something. we have a a big release party in jamaica where all the artists will you know be invited mm. to come down and I'll come I will yeah like, what we going to do by you boy i never reached jamaica yet no no don't say that man i go send you a special invite <laughs> all right all right that's that's enough to you know like, yeah, is that to say why if you hear what going on you going to jamaica and take him out no no <laughs> no but actually you know it's a kind of gathering of all the artists on the album mm-hmm. and a chance for us to reflect on the music and you know listen to it and really you know refine what the pro um, product the final product was do so you have you have that you have an actual event lined up for that yet or is there is an works? event but it's in the works mm-hmm. you know um the recording company is actually handling it okay i'll be just informed that yo we're going to jamaica next weekend mm-hmm. and that's that you know <laughs> right, what I'm saying? right right as far as that go but yeah uh i wanted to after that party i want to come trinidad and actually do a nice mm. release party you know Mm-hmm. where I could have my friends. Man, I'm not sure in concert, man. I go talk to yeah, Soundforge, what we could do. <laughs> I think that go bring out real people. Yeah, that go bring out a good crowd. You know, like, because when, you know, when we here digging up, trying to find, not trying to find, but looking back for some songs that I know started the the whole process yeah, yeah, for you, you yeah. know what I mean? And I, I, those are songs that resonated with me that I, I choose to play for yeah, you yeah. To, to open the segment. No? I mean, but you have a, a serious catalog of music. One of the, so m- more recent songs that I r- real players use me yeah because yeah, I just yeah. love the lyrics in that yeah that's one of my favorite songs right yeah now, you yeah know? so we I, I mean I just always try to stay up on oh I'm Alan, I'm new boy or what this one I new boy you know <laughs> what I mean and I just get him but yeah, you know, man, yeah, yeah man. so yeah I mean man I don't want to keep you back much longer because I know you have a little drive to go and I think you had a reach down earlier than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big up to Hennessy though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all yeah. the time. Big up Hennessy. Yeah, official yeah. sponsor of OUR Radio's anniversary party. Yeah, on going down this Saturday, June 17. Don't forget, you could get listed now. Send us your names. We are actually giving away a hamper of Hennessy and a whole case of bears here today to the first group of six people who get listed. All right, so let us stick on the thing. What's up, the no names? Stick no sticking, no sticking. <laughs> Otherwise, me and Trav go drink it. You know? All right. Just as long as they know that. All right, cool. <laughs> So brother, yeah, man. thank you very much for your time. Yeah, I know you're a thanks, busy yeah. man and, and when you touch home, all media does demand you. You yeah. know what I mean? I, so I, I just actually, you know, welcome that, you know, because I think I got a lot to say and I appreciate the platform, you know, to say it. <laughs> Give thanks, man. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, so be, before you go, bro, anything that you would like to say to Trinidad and Tobago to anyone out there? Yeah, well, you know, yo, big up the Malinor crew. You don't know training crew enterprise mm. you know big up the more life crew mr marlon asha big up my kids my parents big up all the ears that listening this evening you know may the almighty god be with you always 
and in whatever you're doing may you always prosper you know give thanks for the giving of thanks bless trinidad and tobago heart of love Ladies and gentlemen, Marlon Asha, the one, the only original worldwide ganja farmer was on the grind. The grind. Hi, if you liked that video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and tap the bell icon to get notified anytime we go live or post new videos. O-U-R-Radio.fm, your urban alternative.